In today's video, I'm going to give you a quick lesson using Pro Real Time. It's a charting package that I use, and it's how to set up a screener, screener for stocks or forex or whatever security you want to be trading. I was playing about the other morning, looking at different strategies, and I'm always testing, looking to improve stuff, and I wanted to set up a screener for selecting all of the forex uh, over all the forex markets so the majors the minors the exotics everything just it, what it is it's for quickly very quickly scanning for a technical setup the one in particular i'm going to show you it was looking for a strategy that i use to trade forex all the time and it's the inside day strategy so what i want is to set up a screener so at the click of a button it will search for me every every forex pair um, it, it could be stocks it could be anything that has an inside day so a potential setup for my trade just drastically cuts down on time you don't have to manually go through all the list looking for these certain technical setups so I'm going to take you over we'll have a look on screen and I'll walk you through it just a, just a very quick one very basic strategy but you can you can set these up for all different types of technical studies so we'll uh, go over there now and have a look okay so I've opened our chart this is pro real time and this is showing a daily chart on the left hand side here you can see a list of a whole load of forex pairs which that's what we're going to be screening for we're going to be looking for an inside day, but like I say, you can set up screeners for any any sort of technical study by doing this sort of sort of method. So, just to just to recap, an inside day is like we see on this. It's just going to zoom in on this last bar here. An inside day is where the trading range, so from the high of the day, which is which is up the top there, is going to it needs to be lower than yesterday's or the previous session's high, and we can see it is just about. And the lower and the low, which is here, needs to be higher than the previous session's low. So it's the the high and the low range is inside the range of yesterday. So. So we open the screener, so up here it's we select Pro Screener and this has brought up a some sort of preset screener set here. We want to make another one, so click on the spanner there and this gives us a list of screeners. We want to create a new screener, so there we go, a new. We can name it, call it my my inside day now this is where if you know how to program then this is what you use but I use the simplified creation this is what I'm going to show you so simplified creation we first thing we need to do is well we can select over here the list to scan we're going to just select 47 main forex pairs. You, you can change this at any time once the, once the screener has has been created. Down here we're looking for, for a daily period, we're scanning daily bars and so let's start by clicking on that. Now we need to know the on the chart so and then it brings us up condition zero. This is the first condition we're going to put in so we want to know we want today's high, which is which is here or the next bar we're looking at. We need to know today's high is lower than that symbol there. Yesterday's high. So that's our first condition. This high here needs to be lower than this high here for it to show up the result. So that's the first condition. We want to add a second condition. Again, click on the chart. Now we're doing condition one. 
I don't know why it isn't 1 and 2, it's 0 and 1. So now we need to know that today's low is higher than yesterday's low. There's our second addition. This low here needs to be higher than this low here. And OK. Sorting criteria next. That probably doesn't really apply to this inside day strategy. So we just leave that at variation from yesterday. So now we need to generate the code. There you go. Now this is, if you remember, this is where we could have just, if we knew how to program, this is where we could have put, put in the code. But I actually use this simplified creation to do this. So there you go, that's, that's that. So we execute the screener and it brings up here you look my inside day this is a screener and this is the list of oh, all the different uh, pairs that so what we got we got eight eight pairs so if you notice if we scroll through them zoom in again this is an inside day another inside day. So it's very quickly brought up every pair with an inside day today, setting up for a potential trade the next day. And that's that's quite that's quite simply how you do it. So that's it. A very simplified screener to look for potential setups, potential trade setups for the next day or the next whatever time frame you're trading. It's, that was just a real basic one, but like I said, you can set them up for any sort of technical studies. I've set them up for moving average crossovers, channel breakouts, oversold, overbought readings of stochastics, RSI, pretty much any technical studies. With the Forex, I don't trade too many pairs, so I can quite quickly scan through and check for setups. But when you trade in, when I'm trading sort of stocks, US stocks in particular, looking for exact setups, I want to know. I could be, I could be trawling through thousands of stocks, and that that's just not practical. You can't do that every day. But set up a screener, and it can it can be there in seconds. So if you want to have a go set one up. If you have any problems then, I don't know, leave me a message, email me, get hold of me on Facebook and tell me what you're trying to do. I'll help out. I might even do a specific video just for what, what you're struggling with. So, hope you like this. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, have a look, find me on Facebook and especially come over and See what I'm up to at my blog at thetransparenttrader.com and I'll see you on the next video.